how's it going thank you for watching my youtube video thank you uh for all that that watch it i want to thank god for my salvation i want to thank god for blessing me with a beautiful child uh back in 2008 i uh i had a, a child with a mother with her mother right and the mother just came just dropped her off she needs she said she'll be back she never came it's two weeks later she tried to come back but by then i've already filed for paperwork and uh but before uh three days prior for her dropping her off i was going to church i was trying to seek god and i was just barely getting off drugs and i was like trying to uh, i was i was praying to god to help me out to be a better man of god and uh so three days before uh, the mother came to drop off my child that I have custody of now for uh, 15 years, uh, the, I had a dream. I had a dream that, that those two angels, beautiful angels, tall, uh, very tall, they had Sarah in their right side of their arm. And it, but Sarah looked, you know, when she was born, of course, she was already born by then. Uh, she was tiny and they said the angel said like this we come to you in the name of our lord and i said okay <laughs> i was just shocked just seeing their beauty you know like wow and they said this is not your child this is the lord's child excuse me and uh you will raise her up in the ways of our lord i said okay so whatever you do to her the lord shall know and i said okay so they handed me the baby over and then I woke up and three days later the mom came dropped off my baby and uh, there was a whole situation regarding that but 15 years later I still got her you know and, and I thank God for that and I just want to share with you guys that that uh that uh Psalms 127 3 I have my notes here uh, children are a heritage from the Lord offspring a reward from him so I do believe with with the, the the dream that I had with the word and 15 years later keep in mind I'm a drug ex drug addict con, you know to the world I'm an ex you know this and that this and that throw it out there right I'm no good but God still allows me to be a father a steward to his child and uh and Ephesians 6, 4, it says, Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. And I was like, what is exasperate, right? Uh, so I had to figure out, what does all this mean? Well, I already knew in the dream that years back, you know, we're already in 2023, that in the dream, they, the angel told me straight out, and I did not know the word. I mean, I was just barely saved, you know, seven, eight months. And the the word God says in the, in my dream, I was to raise Sarah up in the Lord's way. So I figured, bring her to church, take her to church. Uh, do not let her get uh, involved. You know, like do not. I don't. As long as I don't get myself involved with the gang activity, drugs, and all that. That, that as long as I teach her, you know, the, the right way of God and how to be godly, you know, that's just what I thought. That's what that means. And that's what I assume to this day, you know. Uh, but uh, regarding that word exasperate, I, I didn't write it down. But I remember looking it up and it was saying, like, not to, uh, not to teach him wrong, I guess, you know. I'm sorry, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even brought that up, but still. Uh, but if we're going to another verse, Proverbs 22, uh, 6. It says, train up a child in a very in a way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Now, my child is not a he. It's a she. She was born a female. And that's what the doctor said. And that's what, that's what she is, a female, you know? And, uh. But right here, I'll just, you know, I know in the uh, end of the Bible, it says if you change the words and all that, you shall be cursed. But I'm just going to say, instead of he, I'm going to say she, because Sarah's a she. I'm going to say, train up a child in a way she shouldn't 
should go, even when she is old, she will not depart from it. Because I know for a fact that if I raise her up in church, if I raise her up with, with people that are, are surrounding her with the right mentality, she'll be, she'll be all right, right? Uh, so I'm making it too long now. <laughs> but so uh, in Mark 10, 13, 16, I just want to share these verses real quick and then I'm done. When Jesus saw this, he was indigent. And he said to them, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Now, this, at the time, the disciples were holding back the kids. The kids wanted to know who this Jesus was. The kids were like, the disciples were like, bounce, homie. Go back to your mom. Fathers and uh, children, take care of your parents. You know what I mean? <laughs> we used to say that. I used to say that back in the day. Niños cuiden sus padres. Instead of saying fathers, take care of your kids. Say kids, take care of your fathers, right? But anyways, uh, I had to look up uh, indignant. And I was like, what is that? So it said, feeling or showing anger or annoyance at what is perceived as unfair treatment. And man, when we un treat the kids unfair, it makes God mad, <laughs> you know? And I don't want, I do not want to make him mad. And it said, hinder, you know, I knew hinder w was something that meant like to stop, but actually it means uh, create difficulties for someone resulting in delay. Uh, so it's not mean stop. It means you're, you're slowing them down. And I don't want to slow them down. So that's why I'm allowing my daughter to go to these uh, youth events and youth night. And uh, I want her to to, to uh, grow up in the ways of the Lord. And I, and I want to thank Brother Alex uh, Yola from Victor Arch Lamont and his wife, wonderful wife, Rosie, and uh, uh, Sister Candy, uh, the leaders, right? They're the leaders of that. I mean, and... Uh, sister Vanessa for for my for having these doors open thank God Almighty for, you know for 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 my kid to go somewhere you know I look at brother Alex and his wife and they, they already launched out one of their young kids they already turned it over 18 and he's already at uh, in a program you know and, and it's amazing you know that that he's being used for the for the you know will of God and uh I look up at, at, at parents like that because if they can do it, I can do it for my baby, you know? Um, it just takes sacrifice. It takes money. It takes time. And it's not easy. But uh, I just wanted to say that. Thank you for listening. And God bless you guys. Forgive me. I've, uh, I've been a little bit with the sinus. I had a little sinus. And then plus this valley fever. Like uh, I've been told by this minister from uh, Kingdom prayer ministries uh, that I should not claim it, right? Don't say that, oh, I have valley fever. No, 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 no. They're just symptoms, and I, I claim the blood of Jesus Christ. But that's a different story, right? That's a different uh, theme. So I just want to just share that with you guys. God bless you guys. God is real. God is good. And take care. God bless.